Welcome to another Sengoku Jidai battle. This match against Alex, we're fighting one of the uh, famous battles between the Tibetans and the Japanese, because uh, we can. So the Japanese army is based on heavy infantry and matchlock men and archers and some semi-acceptable spear-armed cavalry. The Tibetan army has heavily armored cavalry with half bow and lance. Very good, very expensive. Also a good skirmishing wing, both light horse archers and light infantry slingers. And very bad but cheap infantry. So they're warriors, they can move quickly, they're unarmored, many of them are raw. Some have matchlock, some have bow. The melee oriented ones have light spear, so an impact capability and no actual melee capability. Should be interesting. Okay, here's our deployment. Infantry skirmishers in the woods. A little bit like cavalry. Try to work our way around the swing. Same thing here. Uh, infantry skirmishers, cavalry skirmishers. In the flat, cavalry in between matchlocks. The cavalry will try to protect them or charge enemy ranged troops. Occupy this rough, hold this forest, and get raw matchlock men on both wings into the forest as well. Right, let's see that force comp and deployment. I don't see any cavalry yet. Not that that necessarily means anything. Uh, the Tetpals I'm gonna are a really good unit. They're kind of like the Dragoons in Pike and Shop, but unlike the Dragoons, they are superior and armored and have full swordsman capability. So they're a very nice unit. And my poor squishy slingers will have to watch out for them. All right, did that let us see anything? Not really, all right, go scout it out. No cavalry, as far as I can see. Okay, we can work with that. Do you move the light slingers up to harass? I don't think that's necessary yet. Okay, we'll open up with skirmishing on at least the right wing and maybe try for the left wing, although there's a number of archers here we might need to watch out for. You mean some I know? Matchlock man, as far as I can see. There's probably some somewhere, but I'm surprised. Next turn. Okay. Now maybe there's missile troops in this village, but otherwise it's looking pretty clear. Let's send out these infantry skirmishers in support. Do we try to rush past? I don't think we successfully can, so swing back, maybe engage these temples. I'm gonna, if not, switch to the other flank where there's less resistance and start picking at these guys. Next turn.
Okay, keep shifting over. Start saying hello. Work on getting behind. Same with you. Skirmisher is forward. Uh, do I want everyone to push in yet? Not especially. This is all pretty dangerous, at least against my rod infantry. What you might want to do when we advance is take this hill, advance onto this hill, and not go near here and the amount of firepower he can dispose of, so he'd have to come down. But overall, I'm much better off in forest fighting because of these spearmen present, so maybe what I should do is send my average warriors and some matchlock support on maneuvers to first shift here and cross over into these woods and then threaten to move into here. If he moves to cut me off while I'm in the open, I'll have to turn around and fall back. I think I can work with that. So Alex says, sorry for turtling here, but my daimyo is recovering from his hangover and neglected to bring any calf to the fight. That's fine. Uh, we should be able to bring him. Ugh. It's going to say out, but that'll make things a bit more difficult. But this one unit of Tip Boshi can't be everywhere. So why don't we just zip around? Put some more arrows in. Let's see, that's extreme range for the matchlocks. So we'll push just out of extreme range and hover. Uh, let's use that wood. Good, and you as well. Assist in the skirmishing. And with that, here, might as well reveal our hand then. Rough ground. How much do we want to support our lights yet? That's fine, we can accept the possibility of battle in the open. Just gotta keep these raw units away from any dedicated melee enemies. Next turn. Yeah, tip wash got in the forest, not surprising. Well, in that case, let's uh, move here. I can be out of range of this unit at least. These can range behind entirely. We might as well start trying to take advantage of the chaos. Okay.
Right, you. I don't really want to get trapped back here. But I guess if I do, that'll mean a lot of units are distracted, and that's not the end of the world. It's okay if we get shot at a little bit. Next turn, Alex says, back with it, may as well come out to play. Turn League is not the samurai way. Well, it sounds good to me, it's what I want anyway. Ugh. Might disrupt. Nope. Good. There are those archers. Okay, we're going to have to speed up our assault schedule then. One thing, you are just going to sit back here, peck at the commander for the rest of the battle, whereas you can start trying to set up your charges. Seize that square of forest, and... Hmm. Right, yes. Uh, why don't we harass these archers? And if they turn around to fight, we can always just run off. It's no problem. Good. Okay. Superior archers. Yeah, that's kind of a problem. Infantry is completely incapable of fighting his infantry. We go for a charge to see what happens. Nothing, but at least we fell back out of close shot. We can threaten the charge. Yep. And do the same here. Yep. Do the same there. Okay. Then what? Move here. It's fine. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, throw in some more sling bullets and move cautiously in support with our matchlocks. Good. Try for a charge. Probably just bounce off. But we don't. We score a disruption. Now, eventually they'll rally up and we'll bounce off, but that's okay. It's delay. Very useful. And here, really, I see no reason to move into bow shot of this, or really any closer to this massive superior armored spearman. I think we wait, and that's okay. Next turn. Hopefully we bounce off soon. Okay, if they're going to get sucked into this action, then we can bring up the rest of the line. Frag. Well, you can keep up your shooting. It's worth a try. Nice. Impact into the archers. Problem solved.
do we come out here? Problem is I don't have enough cavalry to block this up really. What we can do though, charge the archers. Oh, that was a bad bounce we might disrupt now. Here, charge the temple samurai. Have we get a disruption? No. Fire. They hold firm. It's also rather bad. Hmm. Take a volley so that you can charge at this angle. They frag. Good. Now, fire. Zone in the Samurai unit. Hmm, this is tempting. But... Here. Get up here and fire. Fire, good. We swore to disruption. Uh, fire, good. Do we zone them as well, or do we charge here? If they break, they might frag. So, would you accept the risk of my matchlockman getting charged by the swordsman? You hmm. shoot back. That's fine. Worst things have happened. Okay, yeah, this whole situation. I think we should wait one more turn here, despite the situation with the archers. That's unfortunate, but ultimately should be survivable. Yeah. Goodbye to the cavalry, though. Next turn. No breaks yet. Oh, they fell back and held firm. Surprised we didn't disrupt there. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> What was I waiting for? Tanked the impact. Held firm, good. Still no breaks. Hmm. Heavy casualties for the summit eye, but nothing more yet. Raw and raw. Well, what if we fired, um, absorb the volley, then shoot back, fire. Then we can unfortunately only fire at a half arc. Damn. Well, it's worth it. Fire the Smarrows. And fire. Charge for impact, or yeah, try a flank here to see what it does. Tempting. Follow it up. Nope. Fire. So if they charge and we don't immediately break, we could threaten a flank at least. Uh, in the meantime, we're going to. Pin that unit in and loose and fire. Do we 
heal ourselves? Is that unnecessary? I think that is unnecessary. Wait in reserve. Uh, move up to rest from another direction. Give him a shove. Just get him out of the way. Oh, it's to their ground. Go for impact. Get ready for a flank if we stand our ground. And in the meantime, get behind to harass. Okay. You. Do we want to break the Teppo Ashigaru or the Teppo Samurai? The Ashigaru could cause more chaos, being non light troops. Disrupt and frag. Very good. You. Keep doing your thing. Um, shuffle back a bit. Okay. Looking good. Next turn. Break, leading to hmm, maybe a flank? We'll find out. Good. Ah, uh, they are superior armored swordsmen, so it's not entirely surprising that we can stick it. Uh, I might have forgotten to turn them after firing. That's the impact. Oof. <laughs> nice. Might lose that unit. Bounce them with their light spear impact. These guys are disrupted and downhill, hopefully making up for the fact that we have raw troops with no melee capability. Definitely a sacrifice there. So they have armor advantage 50, and we have overlappers 15. That's fine. Shut them off and see where that takes them. Let's get that flank. Excellent. to pop out and fire, and then if they turn around, just fall back into the woods. I think that's the thing to do. Zone them in. And lose some arrows. Do we charge? Impact is good. Melee is horrendous, but at this point I think we have to Damn, they held firm. Okay. Get the flank. For a frag. Good. Pull back. Turn, fire at a half arc. What we got here? What we could do is. Hmm. Hmm. Screw it. Charge. What? Damn. Okay. Rear charge and disruptive matchlock man. They'll turn around and we can choose who to flank. How about that. Uh, just throw some arrows down range. Good. 
don't want to turn to face because then they can charge us. So we'll just shoot at the half arc. They'll have to be okay. Yeah, stay. Keep shooting. All right. That's all. Next turn, Alex says that was a brutal round. Now we're up 18. Charge in? Yeah, maybe. Rally on the Yeti Ashgaru. Too bad. Oh. Not a very impressive impact. This could hurt. Held firm, but the melee is going to be bad too. Bounce that, that's fine. Disrupting the spearmen just in time to save us. Oof. Alright, we might want to pull the commander in chief out of there. Okay. What do we got here? Might as well shoot, then pour in some fire. Hmm. General up on here. Let's try impact charge on some of the archers. Won the impact, but it didn't matter. Set up a flank here. And loose. Keep them pinned. Loose. Push forward so they can't charge. The hill will help us a little bit. Not very much. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Let's see what it does. We pursue into the Yadi Zamurai or into. Yes, we do. Interesting. Then we can turn to fire into impact. Good. We'll try again for the charge of the swords and frag. Unlikely, but we can at least go for a disrupt on these spears. everyone and that might actually be game and we got that thanks to the game so it is indeed over
There we go, a pretty straightforward case of having light superiority and heavy cavalry superiority to zone out the heavier foot and slow it down while our matchlock man got to work. Uh, in the end, my annoying harassment of his uh, general didn't actually end up mattering. Um, I might offer Alex a mirror match and see what I can do. I think it is likely that it's a pretty difficult match for the Japanese army, given that you know it can get a maximum of two light troops, and it's paying for a lot of armor, which isn't useful against bullets, and its cavalry can't shoot back. Uh, yeah, I think I'll offer a mirror match, because in general, um, being so outnumbered in lights is very tough. So a... Good game to Alex, and we'll see if he accepts my offer.